Hi, Profe Denim here to talk about the Spanish verb ser. Ser in English means to be, right? So you would use ser if you wanted to talk about, you describe yourself like I am, or if you wanted to ask somebody a question about themselves, like are you? Now, ser is used for descriptions, to talk about possession, origin, where somebody's from, and time, right? What time is it? When using said for descriptions, you really have to think about like a Facebook profile. Uh, in a Facebook profile, it asks you to describe yourself, what your job is, uh, what you're like, you know, artistic, political, uh, musical, uh, as well as what your family status is. Are you a father, a mother, uh, are you a brother or sister, these types of things. So, so when you speak in Spanish about those things, jobs, what you're like, what you do for a living, uh, what kind of, what you are as a father or a mother, you use the verb said. In order to change the verb said so that it makes sense, you have to conjugate it. So the conjugation in the different forms are yo soy, I am, tu eres, you are, el or ella, he or she is, or Juan is, is el and ella es, nosotros somos, we are, and they are, or you all are, is son. Now remember that ser is used for descriptions, to talk about possession, origin, and time. So how that works is you would say something like maybe, if you wanted to say that you were intelligent, you would say, soy inteligente, I'm intelligent. Or, if you wanted to say, she's lazy, ella es perezosa. Or maybe you're telling somebody that they're funny, tu eres chistosa or chistoso. Now, for possession, you might say something like, el es mi hermanito, he's my little brother. For origin, maybe they are son de Arizona. Okay? And remember that possession and origin, they both have to be used with de. So son de Arizona. Or we are somos de Peru. Now with time, it's a little different. With time, you're only going to use s or son. Okay. S goes with one o'clock. Es la una. Es la una y media. It's one thirty. And then son goes with everything else. Son las dos, son las tres, son las cuatro, son las cinco. It's five o'clock. Right? So that's how telling time works. All right, as a recap, remember that ser means to be, okay? It is used for descriptions, possession, origin, and time. When you're talking about descriptions, remember, think Facebook profile. All the things you use to describe yourself or learn about other people in a Facebook profile is what you would use ser for. If you have any comments or questions, you can either contact me at Senor Denim or comment below.